It's interesting because as as you were speaking just now, Anoop, I was thinking what's really interesting, Keith, about both Anoop and Lil here is that they're both singers who in a lot of ways are like breaking the stereotypes that people are, would want to foist exactly. upon them because everyone wanted you to be Mary J. Blige. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't know that anyone, Anoop, would look at you and think, R&B. The dude's an R and B singer. Yeah. Well, and and you know that that was the initial draw. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you know. The, um, and you know, if 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 you watch the tape back of, of of my audition when I first say to Randy, you know, Randy, you can call me Noop Dog if you want to. They're not they're not enjoying it. They're laughing at me. They're 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 oh. saying they're saying oh yeah okay this yeah. is this is going to be until you open yeah, until you open your mouth yeah and then and then their looks completely changed. So you know what people expect is not is not uh, necessarily what I feel, you know, comfortable giving them. Good and, you. and and you know I I think on on the show it was, I was also sort of pegged as a ballad singer, and 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 I'm fine singing ballads and and to me that was the thing that was going to play best on the show, but you know for me like I was saying it's 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 pop R and B like that that's what I'm best at that's what I see myself being marketed as. It's just that you know, on American Idol, that type of music doesn't necessarily come across the best. Yeah, you know, yeah. there there's a certain level of production that has to be present in in an R in in, in a pop R and B record. And the fact of the matter is that that doesn't come across on on TV. It's a, it's it, a hard it sell.